Welcome to Aunpin KH The new 2022 Lexus GX460 Lexus is known for flaunting sharp bold design cues on all of its offerings irrespective of the body types. In fact, we are pretty sure that if Lexus ever decides to bring forth a pickup truck, it will be another quirky yet acceptable addition to its sharp design language. It is with its unique combination of design, comfort, and practicality that it shot to fame in such a short span of time. 2022 Lexus GX460 Redesign Underscore The GX is one of Lexus's longest standing offerings that hasn't had a generation upgrade in ages. It slots right below its flagship offering, the LX that will effectively be replaced by the Lexus LQ in 2022. The 2021 Lexus GX still thrives on the second-generation GX that was introduced way back in 2010. It is quite impressive for an 11-year-old platform to be vaguely relevant in this age of fully electric and hybrid platforms from all major automakers, including its parent, Toyota. The GX has held on well, but it is now sitting on its threshold and bravely needs a generation upgrade. But we will have to wait a tad bit more for that. As the 2022 Lexus GX is also expected to be based on the second-gen platform, and a carryover of the mildly updated 2021 Lexus GX. The 2022 Lexus GX 460 will flaunt subtle updates in the form of new exterior shades. It will continue to be offered in three trims, base, premium, and luxury with similar pricing as the 2021MY. This will put the base trim at an MSRP of $53,450 and top out at $64,715 for the luxury trim. With the 2022 Lexus GX, the SUV will enter into its 13th MY which is quite a drag. Hopefully, it will end next year, as rumors suggest that the 2023 Lexus GX will be an all-new generation with hybrid power. The huge form factor will continue forth in the 2022 Lexus GX which translates to acres of space in the interior. The cabin was always the strong point for the Lexus GX. Apart from its sassy off-roading skills, but the fact that the 2022 Lexus GX will carry forth an interior layout that was last updated in 2010, makes things very very boring. Comfort is top notch, but only in the first row. The second row seats are too flat and don't provide an ergonomic seating layout.